hey y'all hey welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be going over different ways as a notary you can make money i'm going to go over a couple of different ways we're going to go in depth just a little bit and other than that you can do your research let's get into it all righty so the first way we're going to discuss is general notary now, when I say general notary, I mean if somebody calls you from the UPS store because you've already marketed there, right? You've already left your business cards and they call you and they need a document notarized. That's general notary. If you get a call from a tow truck company or somebody needs a document and their car gets towed or power of attorney, will, calls from the hospital, nursing home, all of that, all of that's general notary. And that is my favorite way to make money. It used to be loan signing, but general notary is my favorite way because it's money right now and you get it and you go. So general notary. Another way which everybody and their mom knows about is loan signing. Now, loan signing was my first love. I made the most money there. It's just not what I am today. I just don't normally do it. I'll do it a little, but nothing major. Um, and loan signing, you would get calls directly from the title company, or you'll sign up like for one, two, three notary, which normally I want to say a little over a hundred dollars is what it costs to make your list in there. Other than that, uh, notary cafe, you'll pay a couple of dollars a month, or signing agent. You can be listed for different zip codes for like maybe $3 a month or something like that. So it's a lot of different ways you can market yourself. But loan signing is definitely a way you can make money. Another way you can make money as a notary is by doing remote online notarization. That is when you notarize papers online in the comfort of your own home. For people that's in a different state, I want to say now almost all of the states are able to do Ron, if I'm not mistaken. Now, do I do Ron? No. Did I sign up for it? Yes, I did. But I just never cared to even get into that realm. Honestly, I work from home. So the last thing I want to do is be on a computer working from home after I get off work. So... But that's still another option. So everybody likes different things. So if you're out working at your regular nine to five and sitting home sounds like a good way to make money for you, then try remote online notarization. Okay, so now another way you can make money is to field inspections. So you would be contacted by an insurance company or an attorney or whatever the company is that's looking to purchase a, a property or business and they want you to go and take pictures or go make sure it's a valid place and send them information. Sometimes they'll send you a form they want you to fill out. It just depends. But field inspection, I've definitely made money from that, from being listed on 123 Notary and notary cafe people have contacted me and even off google people have contacted me because they're going to buy a, a property and they want to see exactly what it looks like from an uninterested party and that's who notaries are we're not going to make any money by them buying that property so that's another way to make money field inspectors another way to make money as a notary is by being a process server now a process server is someone who ultimately delivers a legal document to another person so a person could contact you and actually do it on your own time or you can work for and do that through a company so you can even do it like through different attorneys different um agencies different things like that but ultimately sometimes you have to submit documents to the courts sometimes you have to give those documents to a person letting them know that they're being sued or something like that it just depends it's a couple of different ways to do it but you can definitely look into it because that's another way to make money as a notary another 
Another way to make money as a notary is by being a permit runner. Now, honestly, do I do it? No, I don't really know much about it, but I know that companies have contacted me about it and wanted to know my fees because they wanted to use me. But I don't really have the time to be a, pro a permit runner, but I know it's good money in it. So what I'll say is ultimately do your research and find the actual place that teaches you how to do it because you need to learn like all the rules and regulations for submitting your um permits um what when the cutoff time is it's just a lot in it entails but once you know it you know it and nobody can take that from you it's not a lot of notaries that do it so if you step into that realm you can make you some good money permit runner Another way to make money as a notary is by being a wedding officiant. Now, in your state, if it's allowed, you can marry people. And then you can market yourself as not just a notary, but a wedding officiant. So you can do other things beyond just notarizing that document. You can offer other services. And that's where the money comes from. So what I'll say is just do your research. Um, I'm going to put a link right here. Well, not even a link, but I'm going to make a little video. And I'll show you uh, a site where you can go and market yourself as a wedding officiant. And you can see their prices and everything. So you'll know kind of what to do right here. Okay, so this is going to just be showing you a couple of different sites where you can go at to advertise as a wedding officiant. Now... You can put in right here. See, it says wedding wire. You can type in wedding wire, but there's more than one. So you see, let's see, there's another one called the knot also. But let's look at wedding wire, okay? You would come here, click on wedding wire. And just to let you know, there is a mobile app. So you can sign up on the app on your phone and build your page in order to advertise for yourself. Let's see, vendors. And then you see vendors, you would go to officiants. And this is different people's pages they've made to advertise that they're a wedding officiant. And you can see it's everywhere. It's in Texas, Pennsylvania, California. Uh, let's see, it's in Florida also. So I'm not certain if you guys are looking for Florida. I just saw it a few minutes ago, as a matter of fact. Right here, location. So you can pick your location, Florida. For myself, I'm in Tampa. And look, these people already know about it. So this is where you need to go. Build your site so people can... And then what you would do is just go ahead and price match. See what other people are charging. Look, 200, 350, 150, 295. So you're adding more to it. You're helping with other things. But you can go through here and you can research everything that these people are offering. And you can offer it too. You see this? This is good money. 475. I thought, what are you doing for a thousand dollars? I don't know. But whatever it is, they're doing it. <laughs> All righty. And then there's another one called The Knot. And same thing. You ultimately go make your um make your page up and advertise what it is that you do. And people can look. And you know you want to make a, do a good um page. You want to make sure you have good pictures. So people will choose you. Now, if you look here, you can see... I don't see a lot of black people in here. And then I see this one. So it just depends. You might want somebody that's a man. You might want somebody that's a woman. You might want somebody that's your color. It doesn't matter. It looks like everything, they they have everything right here. So I would just say go ahead and check it out. This is just another way to advertise. All right, I want to thank you for coming by my channel. And if you got anything out of this, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. And once again, if you want to support the channel, my link is going to be at the end. Happy signing.